G'day, I'm Luke from Drifter, and today I'm going to show you our Drifter car back. Now these are a great little kitchen. We've been building these for about six years now, and um, they just work really good for the back of your, your four-wheel drive or your car, or the back of a ute. It's designed as a storage system to start with, so all of your equipment can go inside. Okay, it measures about 460 by 900 by 300 high. Okay, now this comes with three drawers. Top drawer there is for your cutlery. The lower drawer here is for all the bits and pieces. You've got a wash tub in there as well. There's a large drawer on the end. Okay, that'll be for your stove and pots and pans, things like that. Okay, it's got a leg, leg system underneath, fully adjustable, so we can make that any height and also adjustable for a different terrain. Now we've got two versions, so that's called the DCB, the Drifter Carback. This one here is the single draw carback. Now it, we designed this one when we sort of put our carbacks inside a carcass like the one we've got here. Um, so the disadvantage on this version, if it's in the vehicle, you can't access these two side drawers and that's the, <coughs> the only difference. So what we've done, we've made it a single drawer and you can see that's it there. You've still got the small cutlery drawer inside. Okay, you've still got the tub in there, so you're not really losing anything. It's just a little bit different the way it's set up. But the main thing is so that if you want to stop for a quick cup of tea, you can access everything inside there without having to pull it out. Besides that, the dimensions are exactly the same. Still folds over the same. So I'll show you how it folds out. Okay, so you lift him out of your vehicle. Okay, you can pull the legs out to get it nice and steady. You can adjust them if you need to. And we've got a leg that clips on the back here. That comes over, clips on the end. All right. Now you can adjust that as well. And that's your bench space there. So you can see you've got now 1800 millimetres of nice high bench space and everything ready to go. So probably the carback version works a little bit better when you've got it out to use it because you've got access now to these two drawers here which are very handy. Um, whereas a single drawer, you've only got access from the end. So the rule I suppose is if you're going to have a kitchen inside a carcass, we always use the single drawer. If it's just a kitchen on its own to go on the back of a ute or on the back of a wagon, um, if you've got two drawers side by side, then you can put the car back on top. And in that case, you'd go for the three drawer version. Okay, I'll show you the sort of things you can keep inside your car back. In the top drawer here, of course, lots of room for your cutlery. Uh, bits and pieces, so there's lots of room in there. In this lower drawer here is where we have our tub. Okay, so normally put our cups in there, and if you just lift that drawer out, you can pull the plastic tub out. Okay, now we put the cups back inside there, um, and then you've got your tub free to use. It also comes with a pump as an option. Okay, so what we can do with that is put the pump down here. and we can put a small hose down to a jerry can and with the lip of this tub here we can use that for our washing up so that's quite handy okay now that's drawer now is just for for cups and all sorts of other things you've got your wash tub up here on the end drawer okay that's your main large drawer you can see I've got our snow peak chop board I've got some nice um, bowl plates here, we've got spare gas, I've got our snow pig um, medium cook set inside that and I've got spare tea, I've got my plates, my stove, a bit of um, long life milk and that's all you need in there. Okay so we've got a few things set up here now, you can see I've got my wash tub over here, I've got our single burner stove in the middle and I've still got lots of preparation space over here. Okay, the drawers are great because they're right at your fingertips for anything you need while you're cooking. Still got lots of things in there. If you don't need stuff on top, you can put it away. It's so nice to have drawers when you're camping. Now, people would normally go camping with this sort of equipment in just in a box or, you know, um, a, a plastic tub or something. And so this is sort of a similar size, but as you can see with the legs folded down, the top folded out, it really does create a nice little kitchen where you can use anywhere you go. So they're very good. Um, we're selling these single burner stove windshields as well now. The stoves are great. 
a lot of people using them but without a windshield a slight breeze will just blow that heat straight away so that folds out and goes around and that makes it a lot better now you can see here as well um, I've got my truck here I've got a jerry can in the back there and actually I've hooked up this little pump and that works great as well so we tend not to use this now um, that just folds away like that which is really really handy but without a system like that on your vehicle or if you haven't got a tap down here for water then you can use a little hand pump which is great okay so with our car back kitchen sitting here we also do these drawer systems um, you've got your fridge there very close a drawer on top okay and also we've got our table now this is probably the most the most popular feature of our drawers is our freestanding table folds out very quickly like that it's got adjustable legs of course like all of our products so that makes it even a better setup because you've got your kitchen here and a nice table here right next to it okay so while we're here I'll quickly show you some of the snow peak products that we use particularly for our kitchen here all right these are the double skin titanium mugs okay um, they're 450 mils uh, they're titanium probably the biggest feature is that they're double skin and it makes it much more comfortable to drink out of in that if you've got a hot coffee or a hot cup of tea it won't burn your lips or your hand um, so they're very good beautiful quality that's something that you'll you'll buy and have forever okay so that's their titanium double skin mugs this is a small chopboard all right these are fantastic now it's got a beautiful small knife fits inside you see the magnet there okay so the knife stays inside like that you've got small rubber bumpers on the bottom and simply it folds out and you've got a nice chopboard so that works great with any kitchen fits perfectly inside the car back as well now the other thing we use for the car back is this is the medium cook set okay space is always at a premium and the snow peak stuff is beautiful quality but the design is fantastic as well it all folds up together on the top there you've got a steel fry pan there's a small handle that goes with it and you can just screw that onto there okay now that's a black steel fry pan you can put it on the fire it just needs a little bit of oil when you're finished with it okay and you're left with the saucepans there all right now we've got a calendar which is very handy when you're cooking and two beautiful stainless steel seamless saucepans they both come with lids okay you've got a nice handle there and in fact this wooden handle will also screw onto this saucepan here uh, both the lids have got nice timber knobs they can fit on the side like that and the larger one there so really you've got you know for a small family plenty of equipment there to do all your cooking all in the knife in the one nice small set and again it fits perfectly in the car back I also pull this here out this is what's called the mini kettle okay we use this a lot and I'll put this on the fire just a nice small stainless steel kettle and uh, it'll hold actually three cups and we use that a lot on the fire or also on your stove now I've just got it in a small bag that I found just so it doesn't rattle and that'll also fit inside the saucepan set I'll show you how to pack it up again fits in there like that very easy mini kettle can go inside there if you like lids back on now this here is actually a little um, you know uh, holder if you've got a hot pot so that's quite nice very Japanesey the handle there can go inside that that sits on there and the pot and the lid fits, fits on like that so that's a medium cook set okay so here's underneath the kitchen I'll show you how the leg system works this is all actually made up from tent poles uh, I designed this myself and we make them here at Drifter. So you can see there, um, it locks into place with a thumb pin and the other one's there as well. Now that gives you this, uh, lots of adjustability on every leg. 
and it's very strong. These brackets here are bolted on, so basically it's pretty much impossible to fall over. It's important to do the legs up nice and tight, and that's, once you've got those tight, then it's very stable. Okay, now one thing is as well, if you have the legs too long, okay, then this will hit it here and it won't fold up properly. So this, this first set of legs can be longer, that can stay long, but if you have the legs too long, then you, you have to drop, drop these rear legs down so they fit back under that spot there. Now another thing is, when you've got the uh, kitchen set up, there is a little bit of play in the kitchen like that, okay? So if we just pull these legs out, stretch them out a little bit, and that makes it much more stable. So just a quick tip about using the legs as well. Okay, here's the rear leg that's clipped on the back here. And when it folds over, you can see it clips on there as well. All right, now those clips are quite important. And if you do ever happen to break one, there's a couple of spare ones screwed on underneath as well. I'll show you another quick tip, okay. When you're going to put it in and out of your vehicle, you can drop the first leg down, okay, sit in there like that, and then bring the other leg down. Okay, so that's fully loaded, so you're not having to carry it very far, and you're lifting for a good height, and the length of those is, is something that you can get your arms around as well. Now, so that makes it very easy to set up, and then you can flip the lid over and get it ready to go. If you're like you can always have someone else to help you. Now, a little tip to help you put these away, it's very important to just release that rear leg, okay, like that. So I've just got it released, the kitchen can't fall over. Now you can pick that up, because that rear leg's released, you can see how when you go put it away, that makes it nice and simple. And slide them away like that. So if you get that technique right, it makes it very easy and simple to put away by yourself. Okay, so all the details of the car back on the website. Thanks very much for watching. Good on you.